Your family should be the most important thing you should be intentional about regarding healthy living. The family is the bedrock of any given society, and it is always expected that charity should begin at home. However, how paramount is the health of your children, spouses, and probably the extended family members staying with you? As we continue, we encourage you to please like, share and subscribe to watch more of this video. You should be aware that the failure of one family member in the area of promoting a healthy lifestyle poses some health risks to other people within and without the family, and that is why it is always good to ensure that everyone living within your home does things right in ensuring that you are all keeping the safe health boundaries. This video will discuss some safe, healthy tips to help your family live healthily and keep everyone away from disease-spreading pathogens. 1. Regular washing of clothes. Regardless of where you work, one of the ways to keep your home healthy is by encouraging regular washing of clothes. Some people might want to argue that they sit under the AC from home to even to their offices, therefore, they always stay fresh daily without sweating. However, do you know that your skin naturally produces different fluids regardless of your level of neatness and the more you keep wearing clothes, using pieces of clothes, hanging your curtains, using your pillowcases and bedspreads for long, the more you are building germs and probably spreading it. You must wash your home's covers, pillowcases, napkins, handkerchiefs, curtains, and other clothing materials and encourage your children to do so. 2. Regular nail cutting. Although we now live in a world where people fix artificial nails in the name of fashion consciousness, it is also necessary to regularly check the nails and that of kids. The nails are one of the body's most sensitive parts, because they can easily contract diseases without knowing. We touch objects, shake hands with people, and eat with the same fingers most times which is risky. I'm home, enforce regular nail checking of your children, go for pedicure and manicure to know how well your nails are doing, especially for adults, and also discourage the attitude of nail biting, also known as onychophagy or onychophagia among your family members to avoid health risk. 3. Keep your kitchen clean. Your kitchen is essential in your home, because that is where all your food comes from. The kitchen should always be kept clean by regularly sweeping and washing plates and other cooking utensils. Apart from that, ensure other cooking tools like your microwave oven, fridge, freezer, toasting machine, and other things are cleaned thoroughly. If you refrigerate your well-prepared food in a dirty freezer or fridge, you are posing a risk to your family, or if you warm your food in a microwave oven with low health maintenance, you are also inviting disease. In addition, scrub your floor, take proper care of the food stored in your freezer, and always ensure that your kitchen is given priority when it comes to cleaning. 4. Take proper care of your pets. Your pets are part of your family, and if you fail to care for them, they will bring diseases to your home no matter how clean you think you are. Your pets stroll freely in your home, you carry them around, and that is why you should try to clean them up with things that are suitable for their health. For those that stay in cages, remember, you go there to touch or feed them and by doing that you can contact any speck of dirt which can translate into diseases. Wash their plates regularly, wash their hands, and clean their clothes and toys. 5. Regular bathing. It is better to have your bath before going to work and before going to bed. Also, encourage your children to bathe before school and bedtime. It helps remove specks of dirt they might encounter outside the home. Also, regular bathing helps the body to stay stabilized and healthy. 6. Regular teeth brushing. No one will be happy moving around with mouth odor, so you need to wash yours regularly, in the morning and the evening. You eat and talk with your mouth. You will always meet people and communicate your ideas both within and outside the home, and you must keep the channel by which those things are done very clean. Failure to brush your teeth regularly will make your teeth stained and not presentable to the public. Regular brushing keeps your mouth and breath fresh. 7. Take care of your bathroom and toilet. It is another important place in your home. You have your bath and defecate there. 
Most times, the toilet and bathroom are the places visitors have the most contact with, apart from your room and sitting room, whenever they come to greet you. Also, always keep the water in the water closet clean to avoid building up diseases. 8. Arrange the sitting room. The sitting room is the first place everyone has contact with in your home. That is why it is always expected to arrange it. Place the sofa cushions well, clean the bookshelves, arrange the books properly, clean the TV and other gadgets, place the flower vases well and clean them well, and arrange your curtains and other things that make up your sitting room. 9. Keep the bedrooms clean. The bedroom is the usual place you retire to after the hustle and bustle of the day. How would you feel after stressing yourself out and retiring to an unmade bed? You know that it will affect your mood. That is why you must always rearrange your bed after waking up and leaving for the bathroom. Place your bed in a good position that will make it good to receive you after the end of the day's stress. Place your pillows neatly, arrange your shelves, the wardrobe, the makeup table, show racks, clean other objects, and enforce it on your children. Bonus. Always wash your car. Your car is another thing you also should care for. Wash it regularly both within and clean the interior parts. You know your kids, friends, pets, and others sit inside it. That is why it should always be kept clean to avoid bringing diseases into the home. For more assistance, do not hesitate to contact us at Healthy Life Side, we are here to help. Want more tips? Check out our previous video on how to develop healthy eating habits. And please like, share and subscribe to our channel to have access to other similar videos. If you want to learn more about Kanjen Water, we've got a bunch of videos about it on our channel some articles on our blog and even an entire page dedicated to our experience with it. Or, if you prefer, you can always drop us a line, and we'll be more than happy to point you in the right direction.